Hello guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and before we actually get into the video because this isn't actually the video I wanted to actually show you guys the end product. So a subscriber told me that they wanted me to before Doing the tutorial before working the, through the tutorial. They wanted to see the end product So this is basically the end product. We're gonna be building this just an application on react where when you it gives this a kind of effect of typewriting it types the text it erases it we can do a bunch of stuff with it you can see and it's really nice so yeah this is what we're going to be building and let's go into the tutorial hey guys how's it going i'm back here with another video and today i decided to make a video where i'm going to be explaining you guys how to make a simple typewriter effect using react.js so basically if you've never worked with or you you don't know what a typewriter effect is i just showed you guys in the beginning of the video so that's basically what we're going to be building in this video so in order to do this we're actually going to be installing a package because there's ways to do this by like manually writing all the code and doing all the css effects and everything however i honestly just want to make this as simple as possible for you guys so that you guys can just know how to do it and don't have to worry too much with weird code and also i don't want to complicate this for you guys so we're going to actually be using a tab um, a package called typewriter effect and it's it's probably not well known however i found it to be the best one out there and in order to install it you can just write yarn add type writer so try typewriter effect and if you're using npm you can just write npm install typewriter effect it's the same thing i already installed it so I don't, i'm not going to do it again so when you finish installing it you can come here to your project to so like the app.js and i'm going to come here to the top and just import typewriter from typewriter effect so this is the library and this is what we're going to be importing so typewriter will allow us to basically create a component which will rep which will basically represent whatever uh, text we want to cause the effect to occur so in order to do that we're going to come here to our project inside of this div right here and we're just going to call the typewriter component so type writer and we're going to close it right here and i'm going to save it so you guys can kind of see you see that immediately when i created a typewriter component this kind of like the when you're when you're writing the wait i clicked on something so basically the the i forgot how to say this but this thing already starts working right so this is because we actually haven't added any text and this is how it's going to stay forever if we don't add anything so now i'm going to teach you guys how to actually start making uh, it display the text that you want to display so in order to do that you're going to give it an on init uh, function so on init property and this is going to basically take a function and this function will take a variable so let's write a variable called typewriter for example so typewriter it's going to be a so like an empty function so we can put the the arrow syntax and inside of here we can call the typewriter argument and with this we can basically call all the different methods that we can apply with the typewriter library so one of them is for example the string so if we want to create display a text we can say basically typewriter um, dot type actually typewriter dot type string and we can just pass the string over here so if i say something like hello youtube and this is basically it right i just want to display hello youtube if i save this you'll see that obviously nothing starts to display and the reason for that is because we actually need to at right at the end we need to say dot start so this will basically call the fun the the animation to start so you can see that now it's showing hello YouTube. So that's really nice. This is exactly what we wanted. And you can see that this is just the, the variable typewriter and a bunch of methods right next to each other. So we're just putting dots and we can apply how many methods we want. I'm gonna show you guys some new methods that we can do. So basically, for example, before we start, let's imagine we actually want to, I don't know, pause. So pause, if you wanna pause for like uh, two, Two, two and a half seconds or two seconds let's just write pause for this is a function and over here we can pass the value in milliseconds so let's pass for example 2000 this is two seconds so now when we finish it it's going to pause for two seconds and let's imagine when it pauses we want to erase everything so we want to basically make it so that it's going to erase everything over here and we want to write another text so in order to erase we can just say dot 
delete all. And by the way, the start should be the last thing you do, right? So if I save this, you see that now everything is uh, organized and also it's pa it pauses for two seconds and then it erases everything. So that's really nice. We can also type another string if you want. So let's imagine after it deletes, I wanna say, I don't know, subscribe. Let's see how that works. You're gonna see that now it says, hello YouTube, pauses for two seconds and then it deletes everything and then it says subscribe. So that's really awesome. You can obviously do a bunch of stuff. There's also two other methods, actually just one other method, which I think it's kind of useful. So for example, let's imagine you have a project and you want to do something in your application when it finishes writing, right? So let's imagine it finished writing the hello, hello YouTube and we want to do something in our application. We wanna call a function or we wanna do something. So well, we can say something like, on actually just call function function and inside of here we can pass a function that we want to call for example we can just say we can just pass an empty function over here that will just I don't know alert yo we just finished uh, writing this I don't know I'm just writing whatever so let's save this you'll see that it will say hello world it will alert, yo, we just finished writing this. It will pause for two seconds and then it will stop. So it will erase everything and it's gonna go to subscribe again. So this is the basic idea and it's really interesting, right? If I want to delete everything at the end, I can just say dot delete all and it's gonna delete all of the, at the end. So this is basically the idea. You can obviously uh, edit the text. So this is a div, this isn't actually a text, it's, it's just a div. So what I do to increase this is I go to my app.css and I just access the div. You obviously can give this an ID or a class name and you can access that individually. But for example, if I came here, I gave this a font family. Let's imagine I wanna give this like, I don't know, career new and it's gonna change the text. Um, let's also, I don't know, change the color. I wanna make this something like crimson. Let's refresh the page so it's gonna show again. Let's see, it says now, hello YouTube. It alerts, it pauses for two seconds, it erases everything, it says subscribe, and it erases everything. So this is the idea, right? It's just a chain of events that you need to display over here. So that's basically the idea. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below and comment what you wanna see next. Subscribe if you wanna see more because I'm posting every single day and it's taking a lot of effort and I'm really enjoying actually doing this. So I would really appreciate if you guys could subscribe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you guys next time.